This is Mr. James Lawson. Actually, he just walked in right now. Mm. Please, can we see him now? Of course, yes. Okay. Do you know where his office is? Yes. Oh, thank you. Linda, you have to wait for me. No worries, I'll be waiting out here. Okay. Don't take longer. Eh? Yeah. I'll be waiting for you. Precious office hours to waste to answer your questions. Why are you here? I'm here to plead with you to please come home. Which room? The room that is yours. Have you forgotten that you said you have repaid the mortgage before you brought me from the slum of Africa? Only I didn't know when all those trucks came out of my mouth. I'm sorry. I just want you to forgive me for all the wrong words I've said to you. Please. Please, at least, you see that I have a lot of work to do. Maybe if I work long enough, I'll be able to buy a house that I can boast of too. Oh, I love you. Please forgive me. Ah, love? What's the definition of love in your dictionary? You say you love me, but you say you will call the police on me, you will make me rot in jail. You will strip me naked and make me miserable all my life? Is that what you call love? Angela, you say you love me and you slap me through all times. Oh no, honey. I said I was sorry. I was sorry. I was stop lying. It just was. Not, not twice I slap you. You still have the girl to go to my office to call me a liar? Angela, you stabbed me two times. Okay. 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 I'm very sorry. Please. But I still want you to go back home. Please, you can leave. You can say that I'm very busy. Please leave. Please forgive me, honey. Angela, please leave. Honey, I still want you to come home. I don't have a room yet. Please get out of my office before I call the security on you. I'll still be missing for you, okay? Please get out. Peace and unity, love and harmony. That is what we need in every family. family yeah. Jesus Christ is knocking at the door. At the door. With the power to, to seize every sword. What did he say? He walked me out of his office. I tried to apologize, but he was too angry to listen to my plea. I told you it wasn't necessary. I told you most of these men, they are very rational and irresponsible. I told you this man is not worth dying for. Break off this marriage and move forward. No, but I've already told you, I can't break off from my marriage. Divorce and separation is not the will of God for man. It is a manipulation of the devil against marriage. He is my husband. But this man doesn't love you again. Break off this marriage and move on. No. I won't break off. I know the Lord will have mercy on me. I heal my home. I don't know why you should be dying for this man. Why there are many men out there seeking your attention. Let's go to the office. Okay. 
Let's go. Set the air for the party tomorrow. Your phone just rang and I pick it up or the caller cut it off. My phone? Yes. When? Jimmy, I have told you. Never should you pick my phone when it rings. Jimmy, I have told you. Then where's my phone? The phone is on the tiny table. I didn't say anything. I just said hello. Or the caller cut it off. When did the caller call? About 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes ago. You should never have picked the phone. It's my ex-husband. I don't want to have anything to do with him again. I don't want anybody to disturb my peace. You shouldn't have picked my phone. Even if the ringing is disturbing you, you should not have picked this phone. You shouldn't have picked this phone. I don't want to have anything to do with him again. Okay, noted. It's noted. Thank you. It's noted. Are you expecting anybody? No. Maybe Jennifer. Jennifer is coming so that we can get prepared for the party tomorrow. Are you sure? Let me get let me check. Yeah, you just go and check. Yes, please. Are you the one that picked the phone when I called a few minutes ago? Yes, but who are you? I'm Harry Chitamsi, the legal husband of Latoya Chitamsi, the woman who has been flirting with you for the past four months. I was transferred to South Africa by my engineering company about eight months ago. My company had made an arrangement for her to visit once in two months. She came twice and never showed up again. Many times my phone calls were never picked. I sent text messages. She never responded. Then I informed my friends to help me find out what is happening. I was informed a man has stolen her heart. So you are the one? Hurry. Latoya! Latoya! Is all what this man said true? Come back and sit down here. Mr. James. Amaze, I know your name. You must have been very stupid and a big fool to have abandoned your wife to come and take shelter with 
with another man's wife. I know everything about you. My informants have done a perfect job on you. You are the quality control manager at La Vesta Production Industry. Your poor and innocent wife works with the Human Resources Department of the Ministry of Finance and Economic Control. I know the school your little daughter attends. Why would you want to destroy all these beautiful blessings of God on the altar of your crazy immoral living? Do you now see you are a big fool? Latoya never told me anything about you. All what she said was she has broken away from her ex-husband. Mr. James, you have no reason to abandon your wife and pitch up your tent with another man's wife. Do you know why I will not hurt you? Do you know why? No, I don't. A new master now controls my life. Far away in South Africa, I met with Jesus Christ. I gave up all my past violent ability. I know of more than 20 ways I can do you evil in this country that will result in your deportation and confiscation of all your assets. But I wouldn't do that. I know ways I could make you miserable all your life. But I wouldn't do that. If a new master had not taken over my life, I would have come here tonight with a gun. I would have killed you, killed Latoya, and killed myself. But I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that now. Because I've met with Jesus. Jesus has taken over my life. I forgive you. You may leave now. Ali, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. That is all right. I forgive you. You may leave now. May I be allowed to take some free clothes and clothes? Yes, of course. Go and get your things and leave. Sorry. If Jesus made you do this to me, I don't have any option. Wait, James. It was not so easy for me to do. You made me do all this. He transformed my life. Do you know him? Do you want to know him? Don't worry, I know where to find him. Thanks.
Sam. I'm sorry. I am ashamed of myself. What a shame. What a transformation in the life of that man. He could not hurt me. He said, because he has given his life to Jesus. He looked so calm and peaceful. Despite all the evils done to him. I like that spirit. I am ashamed of myself. I have a wife that loves me. I have not been good to her. I have a beautiful daughter I don't care for. I have a good job where I'm well paid. Yet, my life is a mess. Jesus, you who transformed the life of Anne and lives in the life of my wife, I need you. Come and transform my life too. I'm sorry for all the evils I've done. I'm sorry. Hello? And? Oni? Where are you now? I told you I'm sorry for all I've said and did to you. Please, you need to come home. I'm coming home. You, you are coming home? For real? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you.
welcome back home, honey. We have been waiting for you. Thanks for coming back home. Welcome, Dad. My mom said you was coming back tonight and you came. Angie, baby, I'm very sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I'm back home, falling, I'm back home. 